Hey, good afternoon, Warriors, and welcome back to the studio. That's right, I'm Dr. Rogers, and this is... And Mrs. Brown, assistant principal at the high school. All right, we are here to talk a little bit about social distancing, self self examination self uh, screening screening <laughs> I couldn't even get out there self screening and the nurse's office so mrs. Brown talk to me a little bit about self screening what what do students have to do every day when they come into the building so dr. Rogers students and staff anyone who is coming into the building in the morning needs to make sure they self screen what that means is that in the morning you're gonna check your temperature every morning and make sure that you have a normal temperature that it's not over a hundred degrees that you don't have any other symptoms of COVID, like loss of taste or smell, a cough, an intense headache, um, any of the symptoms that are listed in our safe reopening plan. If you have those symptoms, you should absolutely stay home. Even if you've been around someone with those symptoms. So if you wake up and your mom is feeling terrible, she has a fever, she has a cough, she's not sure what's going on, we are going to ask you to stay home that day so that you do not risk infecting other people. It's great, great news. So, Ms. Brown, let's say I'm sitting in class at six period and I'm starting to get maybe one or two of those symptoms. What do I do? So this year we have added an additional nurses station. It's called the COVID screening room. It is in the same hallway as the nurse's office. It's the first door to the left in the M hall. We need you to tell your teacher immediately if you feel like you're experiencing those symptoms. Your teacher is going to call the nurse's office and let them know that they're going to send you down to the screening room. Now, if you're a student that has regular meds in the nurse's office, an inhaler, diabetes medication, those things, you're going to go to the same place you've always gone, and Ms. Spillman, our nurse, will help you with that. If you're having COVID symptoms, you don't go to the regular nurse's office. You go directly to the screening room. That's right. That's good advice. We, we want to keep those rooms separate for all of your health as well as our staff. And it's also important that our staff do self-screening every day. They're required to fill out a sheet every morning, and we've talked to them about that. So just like our staff, our students need to do that self-screening as well. So, Dr. Rogers, I've seen situations on the news or just even people that I know where someone in their house has tested positive they know they have a positive case but the people around them feel great normal nothing's wrong if i'm a student and my mom tests positive but i feel fine can i come to school no we do not want you at school at, at this case in, in this scenario where there's a test positive in your house you need to stay home until uh, a further notice i mean that that is part of the marion county health department they're going to contact you and do some contract tracing on their end we need you to follow those guidelines and stay home. If, it, if in doubt this year, it's really important that you monitor your health, you self-screen. If others around you are sick, you need to stay home and, and keep us all safe. It's about protecting all of us and, and staying home is, is critical for that. Absolutely. And guys, when you're at home, if you still feel fine, we're going to find a way to get your academic instruction to you. So your teachers will have things available on Canvas. You'll still be able to do your work. But in any case that you think you might have been exposed, it is so important to not report to school. That's right, that's right. What other things do we need to cover this afternoon, Mrs. Brown? Well, I, I think we need to say again, and I, you guys are gonna hear this a, a thousand times, please make sure that you're staying six feet away from the people around you when at all possible. Your mask should always be on. Use that hand sanitizer at the start of class, at the end of class, in the cafeterias, when you leave the house in the morning, wash your hands. When you get home in the afternoon, wash your hands. This is going to be the best hygiene you've practiced in your whole life. Let's just throw in that you should put deodorant on every day too. But make sure that you are practicing those good health and hygiene procedures every single day at home and in the building because we want to make sure that you all stay safe. That's great advice. Take that from Ms. Brown. That is great advice. And, uh, We'll look forward to seeing you next period, and we're going to send you back to your sixth period teachers. Have a great afternoon.